Anyway, here I am on free cash and I want to talk about this game, Dungeon Hunter 6. Um, it's a game I just did and it's pretty easy, uh, pretty fun game. And let's see here, so I got about almost 100 bucks, like 95 bucks. And you also get $20 back if you spend $20 here. Um, I got the level 62 in 18 days, barely got it, but I didn't. I wasn't that efficient, so you can do it easier if you follow these steps. Um, level 84 in 40 days is impossible, so don't even try that one, but you can definitely get the, to level 62. So let me show you the game and I'll show you my tips. Alright, so here's the game. Um, yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. It kind of like looks like uh, Diablo or World of Warcraft or something, but... You also see that there's a ton of stuff to click on, but I'll show you what you need to do. Um, the main thing about this game is you got to try to get experience, like all the opportunities to get experience every day. There's only limited, uh, limited opportunities. So uh, let me show you, let me start by showing you what you need to buy. So the first thing you need to buy is this monthly pass. pass. I think it's like five bucks and you get a bunch of stuff, but the main thing is you get this AFK experience 25% bonus. So uh, you, you got to do that to get the um, to get the level 62, I think. And you get your money back from free cash, so so you you have to so definitely do that. And you get some like daily rewards from that. Next thing is this um, uh, this permanent pass. I think it was ten dollars. And it gives you this EXP, um, the story raid EXP bonus. So you definitely need that. Um, and you get some like other stuff too. So it's pretty good. And I think, and you also get your money back. So you definitely do that. And I think you, you need to spend 20 bucks to get the reward. So I just bought like, there's, um, I just bought some like one dollar packs. Uh, let's see. There's a pack to buy this. This guy. This. Uh, let's see. There's a pack to buy this guy for a dollar or two dollars or something. So he's really good. He heals you. you. I think you should buy that one. And yeah, just buy any one dollar bonus things that look good like uh you know there's like daily packs that look pretty good uh, okay okay so yeah the f uh when you start the game you get to pick a class i don't think it really matters i picked a mage and then you the first thing you need to do is just go through the story get as far as you can through the main story you know this thing here every day you need to you need the stamina up here to do your daily i mean to progress through the story and it gives you experience okay and so you know eventually you're going to get to a place on the storyline where you have to get to a certain level to get farther so um yeah you know, it's all about leveling up and the next thing you gotta do, you know, claim your AFK experience every day. You got or every, you know, as much as as much as you can all the time. And also this quick slaying. Uh, I don't know what this is. So. Let me just do this first here. You know, okay, so every day you gotta do your quick slaying. Um, you do that, you gotta do this one. And I also do this 20, I do this, the, the green gems are like the main, you know, it's the premium currency. So this is kind of a lot, but at the end of the, um, challenge i was i was spending it every day so you, you don't have to do that you can save it but 
uh, it might be worth it later on to buy that one. Okay, so then uh, once you do that, you know, every, you gotta spend, all, always spend all of your stamina. You can do these raids and they'll give you experience. So spend all your stamina you can and every day it's gonna, you get to buy more stamina for uh, blue gems. So hold on here. Let me just make my backpack a little bigger. Let me dismantle here. Uh, one thing about this game is your backpack always fills up, so it's pretty annoying. But uh, you can buy more back, backpack slots. Or you can just dismantle uh, your gear as you go along. All right, so, you know, every day, go ahead and spend all your stamina. And then once you spend it all, the game will give you options to buy more stamina potions. And so you say buy, yes, please buy it. So you must do this every day. Definitely do that as much as you can every day. Buy as many as you can. Okay. Yeah, so buy as many as you can for your VIP level. All right, and then the next thing is every day, you know, you do your daily events. You have to do all these ones that give you experience. So you have to do all of them every day, pretty much. Uh, it doesn't take that long. A lot of them you can kind of, you know, skip. It just does it automatically. Or you can play like, you can just play auto mode, you know, like it's on auto mode. It's just fighting by itself. So I'm just going to exit real quick. And, you know, a lot of them you can like, um, you can just raid, it'll just do it automatically, whatever. So then that's just, you have to get, you have to get all this XP every day. Um, Let's see what else is next. Uh, you know, every day you send your friend requests or your friend gifts and they'll give you stamina too. So you gotta get your free stamina. It's all about getting stamina and experience points. Um, the main, one of the main things you have to do every day is play magic chess. So magic chess gives you a ton of experience. I've played at the end of the day. It resets every night at, at midnight. I think it's like midnight uh central time in in america so you know don't forget to don't don't miss your chance or else you'll you'll uh, you, you'll miss the you'll miss the experience for the day and you won't you won't be able to get it back um the magic just gives you the most it gives you probably like hundred thousand experience uh when you're at like level level 50 or 60. All right, so, you know, do all these, you know, go through whatever it says, get the experience, uh, you know, do this, yep. Experience, so, some of these you can just, um, It'll play automatically. Like this one, this one takes a while, but you just click, um, you can click raid and it'll do as much as it can automatically. And then some of these you can buy and more experience. So definitely buy that if you can. Um, okay. Let's see. All right. Come up here to welfare and you'll um every day you can collect some more stamina at these two times uh 
definitely do that every day and there's some codes out there you can search there's not they're not that great but you can search online and find all right so next um you know do you can do all these too you know I, I just try to do as many as i can these ones aren't as good they don't give you experience but you have to do all these dailies uh, some of these might give you experience like this guild blimp you got to do this one you know join whatever guild you can maybe try to join a higher level guild if you can but it doesn't really matter that much uh, you know, do every day you got to do these three guild, uh, three blimp mission things. It doesn't really take any time. So you do those and it gives you a little bit of experience. Um, and so then the next thing to do, uh, if you go to AFK, there's like, um, there's this tower you have to fight. You can challenge as much, as many times as you want. It doesn't take any stamina, but um, it's, it gets harder and harder, so you have to get a stronger character to um, to get to higher levels. And so the higher level you get on this tower, the more AFK experience you're going to get. Okay, so try to just every day, try to get as far as you can. And then next thing to do... It's probably, uh, let's check out the, let's check out the shop. So in the shop, you know, th these will get, you'll buy these things automatically, these stamina potions and this idle sanctuary, sanctuary potion. Those give you more ex experience. Um, so by doing all the uh, different activities, you'll get a lot of, you'll get this, um, activity these activity points and in this activity shop you can buy more stamina potions so every week you gotta buy as many as you can buy as many as you can you can easily buy 10 if you do the daily challenges so definitely do that save just spend all of your activity points on stamina potions and don't buy anything else you don't really need anything um anything else in the shop you know, I just buy whatever I can to make my character stronger. Usually the cheap stuff. Um, I'm not going to go over everything. There's like so many things to upgrade, but anything you can to uh, make your character stronger, go for it. Um, you see here, there's like so many different things to upgrade. Like, you know, there's uh, here's all your lieutenants. Um, when you first start the game, you get this, um, you get a lot of this, a lot of shards for this, um, wolf thing. He's pretty good because you can level him up. You can star him up really high. And then, you know, I bought this arc, uh, this mage guy. He'll give you, he heals you. So he's really good. And then whatever else, any other SSR plus or any... This guy is a, um, this guy is a UR, which is like, I think that's the highest level of thing. Uh, maybe there's a one higher than that, but it's really high rank. Um, it's kind of hard to get him, but there's like a event that you can get him from. If you play long enough, you got to play like two weeks to get him, but you can eventually get him and you can play, but anybody you know, this guy's good, SSR plus, whatever SSR plus is fine. Uh, if you don't have any, just use the SSR until you can um, get, get an SSR plus. And you can also transfer the levels. If you spend all levels on the SSR, you can transfer them to, you know, a better ranked lieutenant. There's a lot of uh, things to level up here. There's like a million things, you know, they got... All these things make your character stronger. Skills. I don't really have a re recommendation. Just go with what you think is does the most damage. So this arc, uh, arcane ray for me did the most damage. So I leveled that up the most. This thing did the second most damage. I just leveled that up. Pick some of these. 
you know, there's a lot of things to level up. I just said that three times, but you, you know, there's this mount thing. There's all these uh, you can craft, you know, just there's uh, all your equipment. So all your equipment here, I just auto do it. There's not really much. There's probably some strategy to doing it, but um, I don't know. I And then when you can auto reforge, it'll give you better stats. I just picked this top one, auto lock, if 90%, and then don't pick these other ones. And just you can just auto, it'll just go through and do them all. Uh, you can also do, there's like gems, you can, you know, I just do, you know, you can play around with it. Just level up, level up everything. <laughs> and, and you're going to be, you're going to be good. The game is not too hard. The only thing that's hard is the, uh, the daily, I mean, this tower getting to the, getting to higher levels. And also, there's another kind of tower. So let me see. So I get there. So there's also, if you go to the Forbidden Tower section, there's also this Element Abyss section. You can play this as many times as you want, but the higher levels will will be harder. And this gives you XP, EXP. So. Um, you gotta do this as much as you can every day. You get as high as you can. These are only open certain days, so every day check and see and get get as high as you can. This will give you a lot of ex experience. Um, the next thing that gives you experience is the arena. So arena. Every day use all of your all of your arena challenges. Okay. And let me just I'll show you a fight, I guess. It's hopefully it doesn't take too long. And these are all automatic fights. So I'll, I'll probably beat this guy pretty easy. All right, so this gives you a little bit of experience and they're really easy. So once you do five, you can buy five more for uh, blue gems. So you definitely should do that every day. So you can play in the arena 10 times. All right, and so after that, another thing that gives you experience is uh, let's see. Uh, so down here in limited events. Every day there's this guild dinner. It's at a certain time. If you miss it, you can't do it. So I think it's at like... It's at like 5 o'clock Pacific time, I think. Uh, so, you know, try to do that one. Um, gives you a pretty good amount of experience. Try to do it every day. If you can't do it, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, you just basically sit in this room and you get experience and you play a quiz and you get some rewards. So it's okay. You have to be in a guild to do that. So definitely join your guild. Uh, you know, all of these different, um, just a lot of different events going on all the time. Uh, make sure, you know, look for any events that can give you stamina and try to go for that. Like this, like this one gives you stamina and this other, uh, this other one's not that important, but the stamina potion is for, you know, raids and stuff. It gives you experience. So if you can try to get 50 draws and do whatever you can, sometimes you might, you can, maybe you'll be close to getting it. And you can spend a few green gems. I would do it to get the stamina potions. Uh, I had to spend some green gems to get the level 62 um, within the 18 days. And, but I wasn't really that efficient. Like I wasn't doing everything every day. So 
you don't have to do everything every day, but uh, if you do, you'll definitely get to level 62. So, like the first week, I was like totally not doing everything. Uh, I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can think of anything else. I think that's probably it. Yeah, check this game out. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Easy offer. Uh, catch you next time.